All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age. As you can see here, I got my uh, Batman Beyond out. There's his batarangs, looking badass, his hands. I got the torso for the Futures and Batman Joker Bot, whatever this sucker's called. Looking badass. The reason I got that out is because we're going to take a look at Shriek. And after Shriek, we're going to take a look at okay. Batwoman. Yep. Maybe one video, maybe two. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I wasn't super familiar with Shriek uh, until I watched the uh, first couple episodes of the cartoon again. Pretty cool figure. Or character. Suit's looking good. You see everything you got in the box here. Shriek. DC Multiverse. Collect and build. Batman Future's End. Top. A little bit dusty because I had to wait around for things. Shriek there. Logos. Shriek. Batman Beyond. Product shots in the back. You got the torso and the batarangs from Batman Beyond. Got the arms in this one. The uh, Batwoman Beyond. She has... What does she have? Batwoman Beyond has the legs. And it looks like the wings will be with... The... You know, I just drew a blank. Uh, it'll come to me later. <laughs> There's a barcode if you want it. Let's get this guy out of here. There's one. There's two. There's three. Now, I'm trying to overall narrow my collection down to movie based figures as you can see uh, behind us there movie and cartoon with a few exceptions this technically fits into the cartoon one you know it's a modern aesthetic there's a card on the stand get those out of there later There's a plastic cradle. That is banded in there. So let's turn it over. Hmm. Hmm. Thought I had the name for a second, but I don't. Let's get Batman Joker box arms undone. And he's got a couple bands on the character here. There's one. Nice. Yeah. They didn't want this guy to move at all, did they? Mm. Yeah. Let's see. One here. Yeah. All right. I think there's one more. I need to get a better way to do this part. Because that hurts the fingertips. Well, somewhere, I do have the individual Batman Beyond. He's got uh, the uh, mouth and the jet blasts. That's a cool little piece of wo -wo 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 -wo. Sonic disruption. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what that sound is. Whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> nice, sturdy, mostly translucent plastic. Got a bit of a blue shine to it. And 
doing this one? No, okay. Let's take a look at this arm here. This is the left arm of the Batman Joker bot thing. It's pretty cool, a lot of good sculpting there. Let's see, is it stiff? It's got a nice little ratchety elbow. It's got a good range of motion there. I like these giant chunky uh, spikes. They're flexible. Typical McFarlane ball joint in there. Big angry looking hands. All right, let's get this attached here. Let that fall out. Long peg so you can reach through into the torso. <clears throat> cool, that's awesome looking. The pauldrons are attached to the bicep. They flex around a little bit. Very cool. Let's take a look at this arm. Goes right into the machine gun attachment that's basically built into his arm. Nice good elbow joint there. There is bicep in there. Cool, that's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be a right-leaning figure once it's all together. Let's reach through there. Do I have it lined up? I wanna call that on there. That's pretty cool. Turn the head around. That's pretty wicked looking, guys. That is going to be a nice looking figure when I uh, get the legs on them. When I do the Batwoman Beyond in a minute, we'll have the legs on them. Then we'll just be waiting for the wings. Let's take a look at Shriek. Stick in the cradle here. Makes it nice and sturdy to display, but difficult to get out. All right. Sweep all these little scraggly bits away. Put the cradle in the box and process the box later. By processing the box, I mean cut the card and the stand out, and then go after the big picture on the back of the box. Keep that, because it's cool. Alright. Let's look at the head here. Nice helmeted looking head. Got plastic, almost jeweliness in there. Semi-translucent blue plastic. And for basically a black and white figure, it's pretty cool. I like it. The uh, design of it is it's nice. Uh, let's see. It is a helmeted head. So if you count that as the eye or the optic, it's pretty good up. Pretty good down crazy tilt all the way around <clears throat> puking his helmet he's got a nice little uh, uh, uh. let's see what's in there <clears throat> well I wound up taking the uh, dog bone out of his neck instead of his head but that's uh, that's what's in there Yeah, went back in just fine. No problem, no problem. The sculpting is nice. I like the uh, overlapping plate look there. It's got the butterflies. These pauldrons are on top. Get a yeah, that's that's good. Uh, it's a good ninety or so. 
all the way around, all the way around. There's a bicep in there. For oh, I like that uh, hand in there. You got a swivel there. That is cool. They put a ball joint in there. You can move that around some. That's neat. For being a big old chunky hand, you get some great range of motion there. That's just cool looking. That's awesome. You got good tilt. Better hula hooping. Better rubberized piece and the cod piece diaper, whatever you like to call it. Crunch, lean back, pretty good. Forward, does this have a drop down? No. Nope. A little bit of pivot there. Good, st oh, stiff knees. Eh, not so bad. Pretty much monochromatic black. Kind of a matte finish. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. That lower knee is a little stiff and I don't want to freak it out. Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Shriek split. Nice. It's a good split. Now this power blibble here, I'm going to call it blibble, set up like it's the left hand, so let's get that in there, work these fingers around, that's cool, I suppose it could go on either side. He's using his sonic disruptors. That's cool. Let's get him standing up. That's a pretty nice figure. For a simple black and white. Good design. I dig it. Screw it. Let's roll right into uh, Batwoman Beyond. I know literally jack all about that version of the character so it's just going to be a fun figure to look at very cool very cool see her in here a couple of hands legs batarangs stand card batwoman it says batwoman but we all know batwoman beyond there's what they're building. Barcode. Batman. Beyond. Try not to knock over uh, Ironmonger back there. Let's take a look at the back. Nice product shot. Same one that's on the card. Blight. That's what it is. Blight. That sounds right. Cool. Alright. Let's get this chick open. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Now, Batman Beyond Aesthetic of uh, black mech suit with red. There you go, there's a card. Red um, bat logo belt and uh, wings. It's pretty much intact here. Let's get these fists out of here. Just break that tape. Basic, well, pretty much trigger fingers, battering fingers in this case. They're almost identical, but smaller a little bit than uh, the Batman Beyond ones. Let's 
keep them separate so you don't want to get the weird size hands on it. Always in danger of cutting your finger when you do it this way. Thought of a better way to do that, but I'm not going to say it. The next video I do, you'll see it. There we got one on her arm here. Super awkward to get to one there. Ah, got a good grip on it. All right, hopefully, son of a bitch. There's one down here on the foot. Ow. Suppose I could have done research on the character, find out more about her, but I didn't want to. I just wanted to open figgies. Couple more batarangs looking exactly the same as the other ones. Put the, those there. Now there's a group of four. Let's get the Joker bot legs out. Call him Joker bot. This is going to be a tall figure. There's a left and a right. Looking like a pretty good mirror of each other. Kind of a bat head shaped knee pad there. Pretty stiff ratchet in there. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna work them around at least once. Very nice, very nice. Ball joints, wiggle wiggle, toes. All right, let's attach this leg to the torso. Take into account the diaper piece there. <laughs> it's always fun to see the uh, understructure. See how it's designed up in there. All right. Looks like just a basic peg system. Uh. Nice and snug in there. Very cool. Let's get the other one. That one fit nice and snug in there. Nice. That is a pretty cool looking figure. All by itself. And get the ankles lined up and he'll be able to stand I don't like that he is like I thought lean heavy let's see flatten out these feet folks This guy is going to require a stand, unless I can find a sweet spot. You can hear the dog. It's almost time to walk him. So he's getting a little rowdy. Maybe if I just do that. There. There we go. He is now standing. That's going to look pretty sweet when we should get the wings on him. Speaking of wings, let's get. Oh, missed one on the hand here. Did not want the figure to move in the package whatsoever. Little plastic tabs fly everywhere. 
get her leg. Try not to shake the table in the process. Cool, cool, cool. at her she's a pretty tall figure for a female it's not a bad thing I like the Amazonian types and the dog just pushed the door right open all right apparently it wasn't latched that's all right the delightful Space River news will bring them right back out she got a cool looking head, narrow, like a Barbara Gordon type situation here. For all I know, it could be a future Barbara Gordon. Because without doing research, I just don't know. Dip, 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 dip. Swinging around. <gasps> Puked in her mask. Good range of motion there on the arms. They look to be set up essentially as smaller versions of his arms with the little peg on the back to fit into the tabs on the wings or the holes in the wings there. Very cool. That's all right. Don't need to do that now because I'm just playing with her at this point. Nice beefy attachment point in the back. Good sculpting. Thick thighs on her. Strong looking. Splits. Good range on the knees. Giant ball joint. Toes. Let's see will she stand up. Yeah, not so bad. Got him in a position like that. Let's get her in a posing position. How about that? joints right, see, I want to pivot and she'll sort of stand like that it's leaning on the point of her wings yeah that's not so bad she will fall over though Avalanche. Knock one over, you knock them all over. Just the way it goes. That's cool. She's a cool figure. Looks good. She's going to go there. Both sides of the Joker bot thing. Alright, that is Shriek and uh, Batwoman Beyond. Peace.